Hey there, chat marketers. Hey, have you ever thought about not just enhancing your own website with a chat widget, says he who doesn't have one. <laughs> I haven't got around to it yet. But yeah, um, you can actually simulate a web chat on your prospects website. And it's really powerful. So because since March 2023 and the the open AI API or the automated um, programmable interface was made public, uh, you can now set up these amazing chatbots that can answer questions on a website. I'm going to demonstrate this. It doesn't take 10 minutes. It takes more. You've got to create the, the, the system message and everything like that. But I'm going to try and create this in under 10 minutes on this video so that I don't take up too much of your time. I'm going to skip a lot of things because if you go to my um, URL docs.chattybots.com, I've got this, uh, this knowledge base over here with um, information on how to create a knowledge base. Let's just call it a KB. This video will walk you through setting up your KB. There's uh, even a super prompt in here that will create the perfect prompt for the knowledge base. And um, also below that, we've got uh, setting up the uh, web chat um, advanced eight steps. And uh, these are the steps that you can follow. So I'm going to keep try and keep this video to under 10 minutes uh, because you've got all the information here. Make sure that uh, you're on the AI web chat section, not the omni channel section when you come to the docs. So again, just it's that URL there, docs.chattybots.com, a useful resource. From here, you can also log into the apps and you can join our community. And uh, if you haven't uh, join the community, please uh, pop in and uh, join the community. It's optional. If you uh, if if you uh, drop your email address, totally optional. You're going to get a free uh, prospecting tool. It's, I call it the uh, the birthday wisher, which enables you to send out birthday wishes to people every year. So anyway, let's get into creating a chatbot. So I've picked um, my mate Joe. That's Joe over there. That's me. So I'll just pretend I'm Joe. I am going to create a knowledge base for Joe's website. So the first thing we need to do is go Command A or Control A and Command C or Control uh, C, depending on which device you're on. And then you would take that copied information and you would paste it into ChatGPT and then that's when you would go to this business knowledge base prompt, follow that video and create the system message that you would result, you would land up with this knowledge base um, that, that I'm showing you here on the screen right now. So that's, this is where I'm saving time. This is where you would be spending most of your time is in building this knowledge base because the chatbot can only be as good as the information that it can access. And why do we need this knowledge base? Why can't we just let ChatGPT reference the, it's not the World Wide Web, but the LLM, the large language machine? Why can't it just, you know, get the information from there? Well, it clearly just will not have the specific information for Joe's business. So therefore, we need to provide it in our knowledge base. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, create an account. If you don't have an account, create a free trial. It's a seven-day free trial. No credit card needed. Just create the just log in. Once you uh, let me just uh, try log in here and see what happens. Once you log in, you can then go and create a new account. So I'm just going to sign in with Google and. No, but I didn't want to use that account. Um, wrong account. Sign in with Google again. And I'm going to use my main account. This should log me in. Once I get in here, I'm going to go and I'm going to create a new account. So you will be, when if you're creating a new account, you'll land up over here. Just click on continue. Let's get this out of the way. And now we're going to go with a uh, Joe's Joe's place. So I already did one testing all this. So I'll just call it Joe's place two, so I know which one it is. And we're just going to click continue. And uh, 
well, we are going to need to go to settings and integrations go to open ai see it's saying connect so when i click in there it's asking me for my api key i'm pausing the video and i'm going because i don't want to share my API. okay you see how it's changed from connect to edit so now my api key is in there but i'm not going to do any of the setup in here because we're doing what we is called the advanced method we want to make sure that default reply is off so we're going to set up our own default reply which is a little bit better than the than the the you know the simple method make sure you save okay a lot of people forget to save and in general make sure that we the default reply starter template so when you create an account we you get a template come with the account so make sure that default replies is uh, selected over there the the starter template and you're going to go to flows now there are a couple of uh, custom fields or account fields that we need to set up. So just click go to custom fields, click on the uh, the folder, and then in the account fields, I know that Joe wants to call his bot Billy Bot, not Bob, Billy Billy Bot. So let's save that, and then we're going to call this Joe's Place and whatever it could just be joe kuski or whatever but uh that's the account fields i'll show you where the account fields are used if you go to flows and on that folder there'll be one for the welcome message just click into the welcome message and uh that's where these flows those uh the business name and the assistant i'm going to edit this there's some spacing issues here just bring that exclamation mark up closer and take out some spaces here of course you can edit this text and you can also just get rid of those fields and just hard code it in totally totally up to you make sure that's published and um, we have now set up the uh, the welcome message I'm just going to go here and I'm going to show you the default reply uh, there's nothing really for you to do in the the messages um, basically if people can get a response from OpenAI it will output it and if for some reason it can't it will then just uh, ask to talk to a human if you know if the user if they want to talk to a human so what we need to do now is we need to set this up we need to just click into it we're going to go and grab the knowledge base that we made earlier command a command c and come back here and we're going to paste it in here and we leave the save response to so all of this stuff comes with a template just leave it all as it is as you see it on the screen and then just continue you can see i'm rushing through this make sure you publish that and then we're going to go to uh, we're going to go back to Joe's place and I'm just going to grab the uh, the URL because now we're getting to the exciting part we're going to go to tools and we're going to do the bot simulation go to tools scroll down to you get to bot simulation and paste in the URL the website link go to more options make sure you select the right welcome message which is the starter template we can even change the branding so I'm going to go and click on pick a color go here and and I think I've got it let's go back to this so we got the starter if I put this in here does that change it does it's white why is it white let's go back to my brand let's click that got it now got it now that cost me time Hilton but it looks better so that's all set up now we we get the link it copies it into the cache and now's the time when you jump on the call and you are inviting the prospect 
you you're on a call with them you say to them here here's the link go check out uh, your website and they go wow okay so now actually they're not like really that impressed but they've got the uh, the chat widget on their website it's when they start asking it questions it's gonna blow their mind right it's got to so welcome to Joe's place you maybe call me Billy bot how may I help so I'm gonna say hey Joe I'm just going to go with, I don't even know if this is going to work. What you got for me. Let's see. And I'm going to leave the typo in there. Let's see how good this chatbot is. Hey there, I've got a suite of SaaS tools tailored for organic marketing from automating Facebook engagement to optimizing your marketing links. He's got link wizard. I've got you covered. Let me know uh, what specific tools you're interested in and I'll provide more details. So we let's go. Um, do you have a tool for Facebook or organic marketing? Boom. Let's see what it comes up with. Boom. Absolutely. I have a tool called Friend Connector. Cool. So this is going to blow your prospect's mind and hopefully will turn your prospect into a client. So, um, you know, let's just recap here. We're on 11 minutes already. Wow. I didn't want to go this long. But yeah, if you're excited about this, you know, and you want to take it to the next level, please reach out, book a call with me. I'll try and make a call of a link available. It's in my profile. Uh, if you go to my bio, uh, there's a booking link in there. Let's jump on a call and let's see how we can make um, this tool suitable for your business. Cool. Thanks for watching the video. I will catch you in the next one. See ya.